Hello, Collective. Welcome to your Sunday Vibes, where it's all about love and romance here and passion. We're going to see what we can get into. Of course, we'll keep it as PG as we can for you, too. So I may not be able to show you all the cards, but um, you get it for those of you who have been watching these for a long time now. You understand. For my new subscribers, you know. You, you you will understand my style of reading here. You know, I used to get a little more um, detailed with these, but because of YouTube, I have to be careful, okay? But nonetheless, if you're looking for love, these are the ones you need to watch. If you're not, Sunday Vibes is not for you. All right? Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your time, your patience, your support, your love and light. And all your beautiful, wonderful messages. Thank you for hitting that like button. Always appreciate that like. And you're creating that good energy in return for yourself. Alright, that's all I ask. And subscribe, of course, if you haven't. So let's see what's going on today. Are we going to tap into new love out here? Alright. I'm feeling that high-level soulmate energy that we get every now and then. So let's see. If that's the case here. Alright. For those of you looking for. You know. I don't know what's going to come through. We'll see. But I, I did hear. I've been getting in my head. High level soulmate. So let's see. Let's see what's going on. And remember. What doesn't resonate for you. Can and will resonate for someone else here. Please do not make it fit. Into your situation. If that's not how you feel. The reading is going. Okay. It may not, it just may not be your reading. So let's see what's going on. Ooh, deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Mm. Love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, that makes sense. All right, and it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So this is like self-deception, and it's because somebody wasn't ready to open up to you, Collective, just yet. They're love, trying to love themselves first and trying to open up to love. So this is someone that has a hard time opening up, from what I see. They could have been through some things, and, you know, they went through a, a period where they just kind of threw on the mask and maybe was more closed off with their feelings. So they went about connections a little bit more logical, perhaps. Um... You know, because of what they've been through in their their relationships here. But this is someone that's self-reflecting quite a bit and getting real with themselves here. Um, and doing something about that with love yourself first, right? Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And yes, it does, absolutely. Because it means that you're finally loving yourself and seeing yourself for you know what you bring to the table not just be you know playing victim right so this is what's helping whoever this is opening up right opening up their heart and to receive the highest energy of all which means because of this inner work when it comes to this person walking into your life or you know aligning to you it's a higher self type of energy higher vibrational energy okay so you could have already been doing some self work here whether you know this person or not um, you could have already been working on yourself and it's almost like spirit is working with this person now to align them to you vibrationally okay that's what I'm seeing here so you know even if you didn't meet them this person could have been in their own life you know going through their thing and now they've hit a point where this energy clearly is already surrounding you, right? It happens in the ethers first before it manifests itself physically. So things are already, you know, happening energetically, vibrationally, and spirit working with this person, giving them signs and synchronicities, or putting them in situations that make them self-reflect. And that's how this energy is kind of coming into your life as they 
heal, shift, change, transform, and raise their energy, their vibration. So this is about alignment with someone here that definitely could be a spiritual connection to you. Um, so let's see. Yeah, they needed to pay attention to the red flags, okay? They could have, like, kept meeting the same types of people, you know, or the same person and different people, right? And that's because they needed to self-reflect. So pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So I feel like now they're really paying attention to the people around them and whoever, you know, steps to them or, or whoever they feel attracted to, you know, things like this. That's what I'm, I'm getting. Okay. What's behind that? Yeah. You deserve love. You are lovable. I'm feeling like this person might even be turning some people down now because now they're understanding their worth. Okay. Now they're seeing people and and for who they are but, and it's because they're starting to see themselves for what they were bringing or not bringing to the table all right yeah flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others okay um, but they just have to be careful with the red flags again this could go vice versa so take it how it resonates very nice okay let's see what else these I'll put in the bottom here because some of these are a little too sexy. Okay, yeah, we got truth. So somebody wants to speak their truth. They're tired of wearing a mask. And, you know, they're doing, they're stepping up to the plate is what I'm seeing. They're showing up for themselves. And if they're attracted to you already, like let's say this person has been watching you or they met you, but, you know, they haven't asked you out or something like this. That's what I'm feeling. They want to be honest with you. We have Aquarius energy here, but it does not have to be. All right. They want to be able to tell you how they feel. They want to be able to express their feelings and not be so closed off because they know that that's also kind of um, damping their style, you know, not allowing them to be in the right connections. You know, if you're not emotionally available to someone, what's the point, right? It, you know, that's not going to create a great atmosphere for trust and for a good relationship to blossom and evolve. It's just going to remain kind of stagnant and two people are going to start hurting each other if there is no soul evolution, no internal healing or growth going on. So I feel like they're, they understand this and that's why they're trying to love themselves first to create some sort of balance here within their relationships, future relationships, right? Nice, very nice. Yeah, nostalgia. So, 26. Yeah, this person could be thinking about, you know, all kinds of things, even when they first started dating and stuff like that. 26 or 22 could be um, significant here. 22 could be someone's master number here. And this is adding up to 8. I feel like also, it's manifesting a past life connection. This one I can show you. Alright. And fulfillment. Yeah. <laughs> this person definitely wants fulfillment here. Okay. Sexual fulfillment as well. They want to be with someone that fulfills their needs. And that they can really truly connect with here. Um, you know, make love to here as well. 35 could be significant here for some of you as well. And again, that's an 8. So we have 8-8. Eight, eight. This could be coming through through the 8-8 eight, eight portal. Coming in soon in August, okay? We're already at the end of July, so. So look out for that. For some of you, if you want to manifest, um, you know, a, con a high vibrational connection and you've been doing the work, in the 8 a portal, I would um, do like a manifestation, a meditation, okay? Some of you might already be thinking about this. Asking the divine for a high vibrational love being open to receiving that type of connection and allowing you to 
manifest it. Okay. Yeah, there, there's something coming through in the 8 8 portal. Energetically, that's going to shift this dynamic here and this person because I feel like they're going through some changes already. They've taken it upon themselves to evolve here. This is good. Very good. Yeah. And trusting. Okay, trust, Libra energy, balance. All right, number 14 adding up to five, going through some sort of change here. Yeah, definitely. Trusting that maybe perhaps love is real, but instead of just chucking it off to, oh, true love doesn't exist, that that's like a deflection from loving yourself first, right? Because when you love yourself first, then you'll start to understand that true love does exist because then you start manifesting that more into your life and if it's a specific partner then you will manifest that but as long as we're projecting and saying eh, that doesn't exist that means we're not really taking the time to love ourselves and heal because when you do do that you understand that love is real it's the only thing that is real and you can manifest a high vibrational love it doesn't always have to be karmic or deceptive or toxic or you know what I mean full of hate and drama or separation or you know it's because it takes two if one person is not healing and the other one's healed that wouldn't make sense it wouldn't work now you get two people that are unhealed with that same mentality and it doesn't work but you get two people that are evolving healing loving themselves then then you start to understand each other on a, on a higher vibration uh, from a higher perspective and that's how you make a connection last. Okay. The love is understood. You're not running away from it. You're not scared of that um, intimacy, right? Or being more open. You start to understand that the person you're actually with is not your enemy. That is a gift. Because a lot of people, man, they, they get involved in connections and it's like they're sleeping with the enemy. They think their partner is their enemy. What kind of love is that? That's not love. All right. Let's see what else we got. Well, let's get into these. What are we working with here, Spirit? What are we working with? Or, you know, they get into those tit for tat situations. They're always, you know, up and wanting, one upping one another. That's no way to live. All right. Let's see here. You know, and a lot of you could have already went through those types of connections, right? Yeah, this is someone you're going to have a psychic connection with. You could already be feeling this person on a 5D level, or you have some sort of telepathy here. Okay, so some of you could be experiencing some things, because this energy is already, like, linked up with you in the 5D before it's manifested here. Your communication goes beyond mere words. Definitely. Well, actually, let's just leave it there. Yeah, for some of you, this could be a past person. And you had to split ways because it was one of those connections. Where, you know, it was tit for tat and, you know, you guys didn't understand yourselves enough to make this work. Okay, because it says forgiveness. Allow healing waters to wash away the pain of the past. For others of you, this is all about letting go of the past so that you can move into a, a higher connection. So this could be what somebody's doing here because they are nostalgic about something in the past. So it doesn't have to be with you. It just could mean that, you know, they're going through a review of their relationships and what has transpired within them. All right. What else here? That's that's really what I'm getting because this feels like someone walking into your life or wanting to tell you how they feel. This could be two people crushing on each other as well. Yeah, self-love. It is safe for you to love with self-love. Love yourself first. 
So, you know, for some of you, maybe this person is still in the process of doing that is what I'm seeing. And trusting in the situation so that they can speak their truth and pursue it. This person may be a little scared at this time. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, we have a rendezvous. Okay. A private getaway for two is calling you. This is what they want with you, definitely. Yeah. Physical connection. Love affirmations. Love language is affirmations. Physical connection, yeah. They definitely want to be closer. I just want to be close to you and do all the things you want me to. I just want to be close to you and show you the way I feel. <laughs> Yeah, the tower with psychic communication. Mm. The tower, you blow this person's mind. There could have been something that they picked up on psychically when it came to you that just blew their mind here with the tower. Also, I'm getting a lot of passion here, a lot of 5D passion. Like maybe, because I see self-pleasure here as well. So you two could be feeling each other in that way. When someone self-pleasures, you, you feel that energy. If you feel like, you know, hot and bothered or something like that, it's because you have this connection, this psychic connection. So you're going to feel when this person is like yearning for you, wanting you, and vice versa. Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person became guarded after something happened in the past. Alright. But I feel like they see you as someone quite exotic here, whether you're male or female. Okay. Someone irresistible. This person also, they could have been, um, they could have went through a divorce as well in the past so maybe this person is scared because they were married in the past and it didn't work out but that's because they weren't loving themselves then so you know the tower hit and maybe that was a, a little rough on them you know the cleanup after the tower is always a little rough so they could have lost faith in love also and just kind of rebelled okay six of pentacles i see two people kissing this person's feet with self-love yeah allowing themselves to receive also not just give by loving themselves first Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like not being able to feel you, touch you, and just having the psychic connection weighs heavy on this person. Five of Pentacles. This could, person could be praying for the courage to overcome their insecurities here. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah. <laughs> you could have been waiting for this kind of love for some time. You're like, you have your cup up, but you're like asleep here. It's like, oh my god, when is this, sh when is this showing up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they see you as someone quite nurturing loving um intuitive here they see you as someone that would make a great mother you could remind them of someone in their past is what i'm picking up here you or you remind them of someone is what i'm getting maybe that's what scares this person 
but it doesn't mean that they're still in love with the past because there's something they have to forgive in the past is what I'm seeing and maybe they're scared that the same thing will happen again but they have to they're loving themselves first right so that they don't make the same mistake King of Pentacles yeah this is somebody giving they give to others they are a commitment type of person Taurus Virgo Capricorn Scorpio Pisces Cancer here and we have Scorpio here as well the Aquarius and uh, yeah so this person is about giving and receiving but they needed to give that love to themselves so I feel like they're getting into that energy of self-love and being open to give and receiving love with it is safe for you to love and ready to open their heart and give and receive the highest energy of all so that's good yeah they're going within hermit Virgo energy being enlightened here understanding yeah stability four of wands yeah this could be a twin this is a wish fulfillment yeah the star the six of cups with the four of wands this could be a twin this is definitely a wish fulfillment written in the stars type of energy it could be a high level soulmate though somebody that sees you as someone that you know they want to build something with yeah it's a wand Ooh, complete wish fulfillment somebody definitely wants I can't show you all of these but ace of wands with the uh, star somebody's wishing for this um, passion to be um, it is ignited already but they want they want to actually experience it yeah they're gonna court you with the knight of cups and definitely they want to be with you with the four of swords here yeah the empress mm -hmm. they see you as a wife or husband here for sure this person definitely they want to have it they want to have a child with you with the ace of wands the four of swords the empress and the star uh-huh they want to have children with you you could have children in a past life with this person this could have been this could be a spiritual spouse yeah we have um, justice here so they know you're about truth and fairness okay you're definitely sitting on your throne here so for you for someone to come to you you know that their heart may must not weigh heavy that it must be in balance with their logic okay and in order for that to take place one must understand self-love and the divine feminine and masculine within us to create that balance between the feminine and the masculine so that you understand this level of high vibrational connection which essentially it's going through an awakening process or even um, Christ consciousness here yeah judgment with justice knight of wands and three of cups four of cups yeah for you if they're gonna be in and out of your life you'd rather um, keep looking okay what I'm seeing so this person knows that to come to you is very different in how they would go about going towards anyone else now the self-love is all about free will they have to want to do that for themselves which I do see it here they see you as the ultimate gift you know the ultimate wife or husband here and someone well worthy of you of this type of love that they can give you 24 24 being that they actually understand how to love themselves first so that they can be able to express that to you in the way you deserve right being emotionally available not afraid to be vulnerable or not afraid of intimacy okay but in order for them not to flee from that energy they must love themselves that way they're not afraid to love or be loved okay
I feel like you you fulfill this person even without them being next to you there there's something about you that just fulfills this person it, it you make them want to be a better person you make them want to show up for themselves so that they can show up for you it's almost like it doesn't matter who else they meet now because they just they adore the way you you carry yourself with love right you're not chasing with the empress and the queen of cups you love hard yes but you, and you're very nurturing with the queen of cups and the empress you could have a lot of water in your chart doesn't have to be but um you know you're not here chasing okay you have a lot of self-respect and that's very admirable as well male or female all right let's get some messages here okay let's see what else let's tap into my wicked game sex capades oral gold deck and let's see what else a lot of these again I can't show you One more shuffle here, one more shuffle. This is also a provider here. They do focus on work, the material world quite a bit. And you like redirect this person's focus into love is what I'm getting here. Yeah, mm, you drive me wild. Flash that real quick. <laughs> Yeah, there's they're picking up psychically what you're putting down. There's some some sort of passion here that they're feeling. For some of you, somebody woke up and uh, had a wet dream here. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. I give you the key to my house. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. See, they look at you as long term. How could I not be turned on by you? Yeah. They're completely turned on by you. They sell pleasure as well. I'm seeing that. Okay. Of course they do. Yeah, I'm not stopping till your eyes roll back. Okay. <laughs> they they wanna they wanna give it to you. You you both look exhausted here. So I can tell you they're not stopping till your eyes roll back. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you guys are gonna see stars here my goodness how many licks does it take mm, okay yeah they're thinking about that you got this person all in their head about this and where have you been all my life yeah where have you been all my life they see you as the one definitely bottom of the deck they want a romantic getaway with you okay wow okay <laughs> um, they don't want you to get too comfortable okay because this is a kind of person okay when you go on a romantic getaway alright they're not gonna stop till your eyes roll back right this is somebody that's like don't get too comfortable because I'm coming back for more so if they go downstairs to get some ice, they're coming back and they want to keep going, okay? This is like, I'm going to make up for all this time. I've just been thinking about it or we've been doing it in the 5D, <laughs> okay? In the 3D, it, he or she going to put it down, or both of you, okay? Because, yeah, it says enter the vortex, okay, so this... I'm going to say, I'm going to call it box. This box is transformational. Okay, so you got that healing box. And they're going to want it, want it again and again and again. Okay, that's why they're like, don't get too comfortable. I'm coming back for more and for more and for more. They want it, yeah, they want to taste it. Okay. I can still taste you. I want to taste it. Yeah, I want I want to taste every interview because they want to taste they want to 
they want to remember this. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. They want to feel you. Like, they want the feel and touch of your sense. Like, your the feel and sensation of your touch. They want to do it in the shower. Slippery when wet. Up against the shower wall. Yeah, they love that physique. Okay, they want to watch you in the shower. They want to see you. They just, my goodness. Yeah, devour me up against the wall. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are going to tear this um, uh, resort room apart. Yeah, let's make memories. That's what they're thinking about. Devour me up against the wall. I'm loving that physique. Slippery when wet up against the shower wall. The other ones I can't really show, but this one I can. I want to taste every inch of you. They, they want to they wanna taste you, okay? And this is what scares them, though, because they know this passion is ridiculous. They they foresee it. They anticipate it because you guys have already connected in the 5D in this way, sexually. And it says, I sometimes fear making this move out of fear you will consume me. Okay, there's something very alluring and, like, that just comes through your energy that this person cannot resist. Okay, yeah, I want to text you so bad. But they're a little scared because they're still loving themselves first, okay? Yeah, it says, suck on my fingers and guide me to your sweet spot. And there's nothing sexier than a woman with brains, or a man with brains. With performance, did someone order a show? Yeah. Definitely. Wow, this person is all in their head about this. All right, let's get some messages. Let's get some messages. Let's see here. Let me just get a few shower hour and decent proposals. Because there's a lot of fire going on in this person's body. When it comes to you, you could be picking up what they're putting down here too. I want to touch you all over and over again. Mm -hmm. Out of nature, or quickie, anytime, any place. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Cold shower. <laughs> I can't wait till I find to the day I finally have you in my arms and in my bed. This poor soul. Oh Lord. Yeah, twin flame lovers, eleven, eleven. That's why the psychic connections, all this passion. It's very, 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 very much anticipated. Yeah, horny devil. So this person is a horny devil without a nature, quickie, anytime, any place. But this is the energy they feel from you. Your eyes and your touch make my blood pressure rise into inferno. Body tremors. Person gonna have you guys are gonna have each other shaken like a leaf. Okay, I'm seeing Bambi. Okay, you're gonna be walking like Bambi. Yeah, foreplay is my specialty. I aim to please. Hey. <laughs> okay, th this person aims to please, and I feel like you do too. That's why they know they got to take a cold shower. Both of you could be taking a cold shower. Mm-hmm. All night long, your touch consumes me. All right. Let's see what else here. It's extremely difficult yeah, to stay disciplined and not want to run to you. Oh yeah. 
That's how they're feeling right now. Oh, for sure. They're feeling super passionate right now. But, you know, still wearing a mask. Still wearing a mask. So, some of you are meeting a twin. And, uh, you've experienced this before. Some of you, this could be someone in your, like, past past. But you guys went separate ways a long, long time ago. And, you know, as you growing up and understanding your own path, um, they could be coming back into your life, but I feel like for a lot of you this is new, but you're experiencing this person on a 5D level as, and vice versa. I don't know what holds me back, especially when I know I want you. Mm-hmm. Oh, they want you. They're scared. How beautiful it is that the best is yet to come. There you go. I've never experienced what I do with you with anyone else. Absolutely. Twin flame. And if only... If... What? If you only knew how much you really mean to me. Mm -hmm. And meeting of the minds. Yeah, with that psychic connection. Yeah, they want to have a meeting of the minds for sure. Yeah, they were so they were confused for some time, as you know, this happens a lot through twin flame connections. But they see clearly now. Okay? And yeah, it's time to show face. So there you go. Yeah, we're magnetically drawn magnetically drawn to one another. I am so stuck on you. And there is no telling what I <laughs> what I might do when I see you. With all this passion, I, I don't know, man. They're not going to know what to do with their hands. Yeah, there's a karmic that was around them. That's probably why they were confused. That is jealous of you. This could be someone they were with. This could be somebody in their family. This could be a, a, a foe around them. A friend. But I feel like this person definitely could have went through something in the past. That they're reminiscing on that created this blockage for them as far as not being able to open up so somebody's jealous of you here and they were confused so oh. and you are a mystery I want to solve in every way shape and form yeah you're still a mystery to this person so they don't know you know you like that and it's now or never are you ready yeah I can't wait to see you face to face. And yeah, they want to savor the moment of getting to know you. So although they're very feeling this passion like crazy, they're going to be respectable. They're going to come to you as this King of Pentacles, and they're going to take their time to get to know you. Okay. Yeah. If I only knew for sure how you felt. So this is also kind of a, li a bit of an insecurity for them because they don't know it's like do they feel what I feel um, do they feel like this is a twin flame connection too like because there's no communication here with the five of Pentacles this person has not expressed what they feel to you yet or even the experiences that they've gone through when it comes to you but you guys know and you're picking down that you're both twins and um, yeah they're scared that they're gonna put themselves out there and be out there all by themselves <laughs> Yeah, you bring out both my innocence and my naughtiness. Okay. And I, yeah, I will reach out to you, but I'm a bit nervous. So, yeah. Wow. So there it is, guys. There it is. They're feeling very hot and bothered at this time. But they know what they have to do here. And it looks to me like they are focusing on self-love so that they can show up right. All right. They're feeling you very passionately at this time. So I think you're picking up on each other's vibes here. And this person, oh, when you guys finally get to that stage, though, of, you know, really having a sexual union. Oh, my goodness. It's very, very, very much anticipated. 
Um, let's get a few of these. It's about to rain, so if you hear a little noise, it's thunder. <laughs> I know you want me, it says. Yeah, you got me feeding for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. We have Traveler. They could travel. Or they want to travel to see you. Maybe there's distance here. Could travel for work for some of you. I want to take my time with you. Okay. Yeah. Again, they're going to take it slowly. Please flirt with me more. So this could be somebody that you watch each other online or something like that. Because I feel like there's distance here. Or maybe they just travel a lot and you hardly ever see him or her. However this goes. But they remember that they don't know how you truly feel. So it's almost like if you have been like not paying attention to this person because you're you know you're off doing your thing they they like they want you to flirt with them more somebody here has brown eyes pretty brown eyes you know i see this it's a disguise the way you treat me yep online crush Okay, so we have Loving and Charming, A True Gentleman, Online Crush, and somebody here is Sassy. I think they love this about you, the sassiness. So this is an online crush. Somebody you met online or is watching you online. You watching them, they watching you. I feel like you're crushing on each other. That's a lot of cards, Spirit. I'm a little taken back. Nervous vibes. Again, they do love your physique. Doesn't matter what weight you are. They love your physique. You don't have to be fit for someone to love your physique. And they don't care what you have or don't have. Okay? So they're not judging you on what you do or what you have. And they can't get you out of their mind. And they see you as someone happy and balanced. Beautiful. Yeah, there's, I know you want me. <laughs> it's just going to be you saying, you know, you want, they want you. They could be tall here. And you will meet this person while you're out somewhere. Okay, they could want to meet you outside somewhere in nature. Easy on the eyes. Okay. They could be younger than you as well. With twins, there's usually a age gap. You could be younger than them. They could be younger than you. Sometimes there's a um, difference in, like, race. You know. Um, sometimes there's big differences. But for you guys... This is definitely very, very, very passionate and very, very, very much anticipated. And it's going to be hard for this person to control themselves around you, even though they want to get to know you slowly. Okay, they want to take their time with you. Also, they might definitely take their time with you in the bedroom because they aim to please. So this is someone that is willing to please you. They're not a selfish lover. So, and I don't think you are either. So the clock is going to be like going round and round and round and round. And you guys are going to be all taking it, taking out this anticipation on each other. Okay. I'm not saying it's going to be like that every day, obviously. But, you know, there's a lot of makeup sex here. <laughs> or, you know, anticipated sex. Okay. Well then, 
that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope I gave you something to think about. And um, let me know in the comments if you resonate. Thank you for watching Sunday Vibes, and I'll see you next week. Peace.